Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. I uh, decided to do a review of my 976 now. Uh, this is the Zhizhou Le Coup Grand Reversal 976. It is my only Zhizhou Le Coup and this is the watch that uh, got me interested in the brand. When I started watch collecting, when I bought my submarine, I started sort of looking at the most iconic wrist watches, and the Reverso stood out uh, because, first of all, it's a rectangular case design, and you don't see that often. And the next bit is, I've always thought, you know what? You have all these luxury watches, you have it on the wrist, and uh, you talk about the movement. The movement is so well decorated, but you don't get to see the movement. You can't look at the moment while you're wearing the watch and uh, I'm not gonna spend uh, my day uh, taking off the watch to admire the movement occasionally and then I saw that the 976 had this very useful complication so if I did want to I can wear the watch like this and just admire the movement for a while and I must admit rather sadly I do occasionally wear the watch in this way uh, and I do just have sometimes glance at it and it's nice to see this beautiful movement. It's not as well decorated as uh, a Patek Philippe, uh, but for this price point, I don't mind that at all. And the dial is really where Zhizhou Le Coup has put a lot of work into it. Uh, it's got a beautiful dial. Uh, uh, it's got... Uh, very intricate design on it and uh, a few different finishings on the dial itself and the watch case is just beautifully polished highly polished case um, would I recommend this to anyone uh, no this is probably a watch that you should buy if you need a dress watch and if you're kind of looking for something outside the box if you've if you're done with Omega and Rolex and Patek and WC and all those other brands and you want something different something that that you appreciate and that you want to appreciate for the history then I would say get a reversal or any of the other Zhizhou Le uh, the only other Zhizhou Le that I might consider buying is the well two actually is the perpetual calendar in rose gold which is quite reasonable uh, and uh, there's the moon phase calendar Again in rose gold, which is very reasonable. Uh, those two uh, watches that I keep, uh, those two watches I keep looking at. Uh, but overall, this 976, I absolutely love it. Only little hitch that I had with this watch is that it's not really the watch; it's my wrist uh, because of the rectangular case design and the size of it. The lugs do tend to hang just the tiniest bit over your wrist. It's not noticeable, uh, but uh, it could be a problem for someone with smaller size wrists. But overall, I'm extremely happy with it. I'd recommend Zhizhou Le Coup. Uh, it's a beautiful watch. It's a great brand. I like that uh, Zhizhou Le Coup has, you know, they believe in good value. Uh, they make every bit of their watch themselves. They have the history of supplying movements to Audemars Piguet, to Patek Philippe. Uh, but they stay humble, they they keep inventing. I think Zhizhou Le Coup is possibly the, the Breguet of uh, the modern day and age because Breguet back then used to keep inventing uh, lots of different fancy movements and Zhizhou Le Coup nowadays with its uh, True Beats watch and the tourbillons, uh, they're really bringing uh, high complications to the, mar to the mass market. So that's my beautiful Zhizhou Le Coup. I hope you enjoyed the video review. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions if, uh, and if I have time, I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.